There are a lot of hidden sugars in food that you may not even think about. So joining me here in the Fox 32 studio, Andrea Metcalf, Women's Forum lifestyle expert with a one-on-one -on, -one, one -on, -one on sugar and how to cut it out. Hey there, good to see you. Good to see you too. Yeah, you know, when we talk about sugars added in foods, we're not just talking about the natural occurring sugars that we have like in fruits, like apples, bananas, pears, and oranges. Mm -hmm. We're talking about sugar, white sugar that's added into products. And in some products, we kind of expect it. We exactly. know that's part of the personality, mm -hmm. like in our colas and our candy bars. But when you start looking at candy bars and moving into some of the snack bars, you may not be able, may not realize that a lot of the snack bars can have sugars too. Well, because because so many people think that if they have something like one of these bars here with the nuts versus this bar with the nuts, you think you're doing better. Well, and in some but cases, not. You, not always, right. but sometimes you are. Mm -hmm. You look at this 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 type of bar has more fruits and nuts and it's made with honey and fruit to sweeten it. Yes. So there's less added sugars than some of the other snack bars that are on the market that have two and three and four and five times the amount. So you've got to really look at the labels. It's not just about calories. It's about those added sugars. So this, so right here, it's like make a choice between the two here. Well, this one, because look, I got three <laughs> milk cubes here and I got 13 here. Exactly. And these are very similar when you look at it side by side, the amount of sugar that's added into it. And I know you're making people at home, you're making me definitely think about this because when you see these cubes of sugar stacked up like this, you're starting to think, you get it why we're being asked. Just 10% of your sugar out, right? Right. You're only supposed to have 14 of these little cubes per day. And so in your all of your food that you're eating, and, and sometimes we think we're doing some healthier foods. You know, you've got like the Greek style yogurts that maybe only has about seven grams of sugar. Right. Versus ones with fruit where the second ingredient is sugar. Wow. And so I tell people if the top three ingredients have sugar or high fructose corn syrup, stay, stay away, away from them. Stay They're away. They're really not that great. I'm telling you, you're making people think about this. When they see the sugar cubes stacked up like that, that was a great effective idea. All right, right. what about in Well, in let's Kansas talk about soup. soups because this one really surprised me. When I saw that our tomato soup had almost five times the amount as a cream of chicken, I was really surprised and that was looking at the labels and looking at the calorie counts. So there's a lot of sugar in our old favorite grilled cheese with tomato soup <laughs> lunch that we may not be thinking about. Now the concern here for me, I would think first would be the sodium, like a lot of salt, but not so. You're saying it's sugar. The sugar, because we're adding calories. And most of the soups have been coming out with now lower sodium varieties right. and they've all cut back overall. Okay. But here's another one, salad dressings. This one really surprised me because even when I went into the vinaigrette, I was still getting five grams of sugar per two tablespoons of serving. And so when I think about the sugar here with two tablespoons and two over here or three over here, you can see how these become healthier products than what the other ones are. And even our French dressing has nine grams of sugar. And so you're, you're thinking, of course, the thought here is because it is the vinaigrette, you're thinking no sugar. Exactly. But you're, look, it's still it's low still sugar. It's still added in. It's low sugar. Right. So those are some of the things to think about. You know, fruits and vegetables should really be the staple of your diet. And don't forget that there was a recent study saying that if you eat more vegetables, you have a higher uh, lifelong, a lifelong less mortality rate. That's what I'm trying to say. There you live you longer. You, you live, live longer. longer. Good deal. Andrea, if people want more information about some of the tips that you had on where you can sometimes buy the, find the sugar that's hiding. That's right. Out. Find your hidden sugars at womensforum.com or tweet me at Andrea Metcalf. Good deal. Thank you so much. All right. It's time for us to take a break. If you didn't get to see it yet, we've got the clip that everyone's talking about. So don't go away. We're going to show you the whole thing. Back in a moment. For complete playoff coverage, stay with Fox 32. Halloween raffle from the Illinois Lottery is back for a limited time. With the best odds to win a million, you could win one of three $1 million prizes or one of over 8,000 total prizes. Tickets are on sale now. If you've been injured in an accident with a semi-truck, let me give you some advice. The trucking company has investigators on the case right now. So should you. At GWC, we have a crash team that can be on the scene within hours.